All right, welcome inside to the new edition of the Sports Hour with Alex Garrett. Yeah, see, around the 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. hour, I say, well, why not air bonus coverage so you get more of the Sports Hour and, and some other thoughts besides thoughts on the day at hand. But I always love to come in about 9 a.m. with some new stuff for you because there's always new news, right? I mean, we've got the fact that the Buffalo... Bills today up in Orchard Park, New York, announcing the restriction of fans that are not vaccinated to uh, Ralph Wilson Stadium. Uh, Starting on October 31st, guests will be required to provide full proof of complete vaccination. Meanwhile, to follow up on another conversation I had, the NBA will now not mandate NBAers to get the vaccine. So there's that as well. However, nothing has changed with the NBA stance on that. The local COVID-19 guidelines in San Francisco and New York City will still need to have its teams and staff members abide by requirements. So the Nets, Knicks and Golden State Warriors will still have to provide approve a vaccination, I believe at least one vaccine. So if these players have one vaccine, they will be able to play uh, per New York City and San Francisco guidelines. Now, vaccination is a way to get healthy, sure. Mandating it, you can think of what you want about it. But another way to be healthy is a healthy state of mind. Okay, yesterday I talked about the Zen master, Phil Jackson, the mastermind behind the Lakers' success and the Bulls' 90s success. Well, today I want to talk about a different kind of Zen, yoga. Because I want to see what regimen some of our big athletes take. And there are some strict workout regimens that these athletes do to get get game ready. Um, remember during the pandemic, we saw these guys throwing at their house in baseball, football, and elsewhere. Tom Brady using any practice field he can. So these guys get in shape beyond just throwing the football. They really go to the weight room. They hit the gym. And some do yoga. At least 10, according to a place named, according to a website named sportstronaut.com. Rachel Wold documented 10 pro athletes and teams that practice yoga. Why I think this is important is because When these guys have a healthy state of mind, a Zen state of mind, their success could be even more uh, obvious. Because when they when they have that healthy state of mind, right, when we see stories like Simone Biles and Osaka, now they're females, but they're athletes nonetheless. Female athletes deserve the same respect as male athletes. So when you see those two who are competing at their highest levels have to say, I cannot compete in Wimbledon or I cannot compete fully in the Olympics. You have to step back and say, what males deal with mental health? And I would say if you're taking yoga, it's obvious that you've got some mental issues or mental things that are working in your brain that you want to get worked out. Namely, according to sports astronaut, Aaron Rodgers. Okay, I mentioned this yesterday, but you know Aaron Rodgers had some words to say about his team's management, the Packers, when he came back. But he did not come to a few practices early on. He was on vacation. He did the Jeopardy a hosting gig for a little bit. That's because mind wasn't truly set on football. So maybe this yoga sets these players' minds on their sport at hand. So let me tell you what they say about Mr. Aaron Rodgers. Because I think it's passing these guys take time to do inner working on themselves. Because once you work on yourself inside, the outside game, the strong game, the long game even if you're a quarterback throwing it downfield, right, could be even more successful. So Aaron Rodgers, he joins the growing bandwagon of NFL quarterbacks who intend to play the sport 
after they crossed the 40-year-old threshold. Roger's health regime includes letting, obviously eating less pizza and getting more shut-eye, is also practicing hot yoga, which is where in a 90-degree studio, Aaron Rodgers does yoga at 40% humidity to keep him detoxified. Uh, Rodgers is 37, by the way, nine-time pro bowler, three-time all-pro, 2010 Super Bowl MVP, and he was Associated Press MVP last year. But Aaron Rodgers, he practices yoga. He says through yoga, you can learn some mental, good mental disciplines, encouraged to try and clear your mind. Obviously, you leave your team's camp, you got a lot of a ish up there that you can't go back to your workspace, back to the office. How cool it is that these guys can call the pocket known as where the quarterback stands their office space, but that's their workspace. We may boo them, we may cheer them, we may deride them, we may do whatever, but that's their workspace. And don't all of us, regular Joes, want to have a clear head going to work? Well, I think here, clearly, Aaron Rodgers feels the same about his type of work. And believe me, when you got to remember 20,000 plays, when you got to remember who your receivers are, when you see management messing up some of your colleagues' uh, mindsets by trading them, by really, by not knowing what to do with them, when you even see a coach uh, fired, like Mike McCarthy was fired by the Packers because he and Rodgers didn't get along, you know something's up in Aaron Rodgers' head right now. And you got to clear the headspace. That is a must. So Rogers is doing that through yoga. And why I'm talking about this today is because I have next ha- next hour an interview with a buddy of mine, uh, Warren Kelly. He runs East Coast, Stre- East Coast Strength and Performance. They work with actual players that go from their facilities in Long Island to spring training, to training camp. They work with all kinds of NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL. He'll talk about that in his segment today, or, yeah, later today. But, yeah, fitness is important. We could talk about the news. We could talk about how some of these guys are getting monster extensions. We could talk about how Ronaldo is is great. We could talk about all the trending stuff. But what about the heart and soul of the game? These guys have a heart and soul for their game every minute. You may not see it. You may think they lays up on it. You may think about it. But they have a heart and soul. So how do you work on your heart and soul as well as your physical being? I find that's probably a challenge for elite players like Aaron Rodgers. But through yoga... There are at least 10 or more. I mean, there's 20. There's probably tons that practice this. But 10 are highlighted by Sportsronaut.com. Another guy that practices yoga, by the way. LeBron James. You know, the guy that is so athletic on the court for the Lakers. Well, he gets his inner zen from yoga as well. And he started that while playing with the Heat, dating back 10 years, you know, 12 years. The Heat, Cavs, and the Lakers. The plain dealer said on, and it's called Sports Knot, Sports Knot, S P O R T S N A U T dot com. Uh, sourcing the plain dealer when it comes to LeBron James. Yoga helps James with his balance and his lower back issues. He said once he started the yoga, uh, it helped the lower back issues go away from now. For now, he said stretching only goes so far, 
And remember, calisthenics is very much a, a big deal. Stretching and working out the body, the physique. But when you have different techniques, when you adapt your techniques to something as holistic as yoga, even pilgrimage yoga has a, uh, a picture of LeBron James uh, in position. Pilgrimage underscore yoga. You got to check them out. And he was even teaching yoga to pro basketball's next generation. That's a that's a place. Uh, in coordination with Pilgrimage of the Heart Yoga. So this is real stuff. I mean, this is a different kind of work ethic. You can eat what you want. You can stretch how you want. You can take as many cuts in the cage if you want. You can take as many threes in practice as you want or free throws as you want. But some of these guys, I think a lot of these winners have a mind that is right. Have a mind that is right to to win. When you're mentally ready, you are ready to win. And yoga clearly is helping. Look at Russell Wilson. He and the rest of the Seahawks have a mandatory portion dedicate of the team's workout, according to ESPN, dedicated to yoga. Think of that. A mandatory portion of a pro football team is dedicated to yoga. This started when 20 players would participate. Head coach Pete Carroll has incorporated the entire team since full yoga sessions because the players enjoyed it so much, including Russell Wilson. And so don't sleep on the holistic approaches. You can lift the weights all you want. You can hit the gym all you want. You know, your gym is open. Great. But what if lifting that weight? What if trying to show off for the girl that's working out her self as well? Uh, isn't the end all be all? What if there's got to be a mental approach to working out that I feel like sometimes if they're so buff, they don't even think about the mental approach. It doesn't come off that they do. If their physique is so good, you know, so good, then you might wonder, do they think about the mental? But clearly, here are 10 athletes, according to sportsnot.com, that care about the mental. How about this? Over 90 wins. The San Francisco Giants. Evan Longoria. Does yoga. According to TampaDebay.com. He said whether it was flexibility wise or just maybe a little added whip or core strength or whatever it was, yoga provided it. He says it provides peace of mind for him. And boy, do the Giants have a peace of mind in the NOS. Now, I know they're a little bit competitive for the division. The Dodgers aren't out of it. But over 90 wins, adding Chris Bryant to that already stacked team is, is proving greatly. So I think Longoria can use yoga, maybe a first place stay, maybe a, a playoffs run here uh, as peace of mind as well. But I think it all starts with developing the internal, the actual mindset. That's what needs to change first. And it's good to see some of these guys uh, do it and recognize they need to change their mindset. Because if they don't do it, if they don't change their mindset, they will be struggling. How many times can you be in a slump and maybe yoga, if you're listening out there and you're a regular even softball player, uh, and I don't mean just college softball, but I mean like your regular softball league, and you're at the plate slumping, yoga can help you. 